Hello Virgo, welcome back to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your money and career tarot and oracle reading for mid-February through mid-March 2023 or the next 30 days. We have surrender, low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Very powerful Virgo. I'm getting a lot for you lately, like knowing that you're deserving. So surrender your low self-esteem. Give it to God, to source, however you pray. Know you deserve success, love, and abundance. All right, so let's jump over to the energy and spirit oracle. What do we have for Virgo? We have mindfulness, peaceful presence, quiet mind. Very beautiful. We have phase entanglement number 33. The last card was a one. Okay, if you like numerology, you can look up one and 33. Emotional influence. You might be emotionally influenced by other people. You might be hearing things you don't want to hear. There might be jealousy around you. Someone might be trying to sway you to think or believe something that's not true or to judge someone that they don't like. Kind of like a mean girl type thing, whether you're male or female, kind of like this person is trying to sway you to only be friends with them, but not this other person. And that this is how you find out who your true friends are. And we have the healing heart, number nine, love, acceptance, and romance. Yes, yeah, so someone might be trying to block you from someone you're romantically connected to or um, getting to know romantically. They're trying to tell you lies about that person, or maybe they're telling that person lies about you, but the truth will come out. All right, so let's jump over here to the Gilded Tarot. For some of you in the workplace, um, yeah, there's gossip going on in the workplace and it's just something you need to disengage from. Okay, and here's the truth coming out of the tower, which is awesome. So I like this tower card. The truth is coming out and this is going to be bring you peace of mind. Whoa, another pop out. Oh, too many. Let's shuffle a tad more here. I think I had a weird grip on this deck, so hang on. Let me just, let me just shuffle these back in. Okay. Clarify phase entanglement and the healing heart. It's funny, all of a sudden these cards are wanting to jump all over the place. All right, what do we need to know? What does Virgo need to know the most right now? All right, I'm gonna take this as an extra because I didn't see it pop over before and I kept shuffling. So the queen of pentacles, this has to do with making money, having security, land, property, having what you want, having enough to share with others, being confident. Um, maybe you have had unstable finances for a long time, Virgo, and the stability is coming in for you, and it's bringing you a lot of peace. This financial stability is bringing you a lot of peace. So I'm going to just set this up here as an extra. All right. Phase entanglement is being clarified by the Five of Wands. This is a silly, immature struggle that you can disentangle from. The Healing Heart is being clarified by the Sun. So joy and abundance and good health in every way. If you're looking for a new job, there's something better coming through for you. In your current job, things are getting better. Someone might be leaving the workplace, which is making things much happier for you. You are standing out more, uh, maybe being offered a raise or a promotion. And let me show you these together because the yellow is really jumping out. So this is the, um, well, yellow re represents the solar plexus chakra. If you like to meditate, meditate on the solar plexus chakra, really jumping out. So love, accept, uh, acceptance, and romance. So um, in the workplace, you're being recognized and accepted and, um, you know, if you've been the new person at a job and there's a jealous person trying to shut you out or sabotage you, you're just going to shine. You're going to shine over all of that. They're not going to, they're not going to win. And I feel like there's peace um, coming through here with this beautiful healing heart. Okay. I feel like things are going to balance out. I feel like that, that bad seed just isn't going to affect you anymore for some reason. Maybe they're going to be transferred to a different department or leave or something like that, but it's just something to be aware of. Like maybe you've been feeling badly and it's coming from someone else. All right, so let's clarify with one more row here for Virgo. 
Yeah, peace is definitely coming through. You know, there's this tower moment here where the truth is coming forth. The, you know, what's actually going on, what's actually being said, the complete truth, and it's bringing a lot of peace and healing. Um, I feel like there's all kinds of healing here. Like a body, mind, spirit. And we have the King of Swords. Yes, so an authority might be stepping in and saying that's it, like laying down the gavel, like that's it. You know, um, this is the truth of the situation. This is how this is going to work. And, um, you know, that's how it's going to be. And it's going to straighten out this problem for you. Phase entanglement with the Five of Wands is being clarified by the Hanging Man. Um, he's come up in this position once or twice in my readings today. So this is about the whole situation being viewed in a different way. I feel like there might be an actual like third person in the situation who didn't really understand what was going on. So this isn't you, it's somebody else. And it's not the negative person who's you know trying to sabotage you. There's like a third person who finally realizes like, oh, um, they're like, this is what's really going on here. I didn't even know. And this person is not someone who would stab you in the back. I mean, I would still watch your back no matter what, but this person is being made aware and this person matters in this situation for some reason. They might be your superior, like not the person that pays you, but your supervisor or something like that. And they start to figure out what's really going on. And um, you're the one that's gonna shine and the other person that you know, tried to sabotage you. I think it's one of those, those situations where you doing good work, Taurus, is making this person look bad because they don't want to do good work. They just want to sit there and collect a paycheck and not work. And you come in and do your job and you shine and they don't want that to happen. They just want to get to sit on their button and not work and collect a paycheck. And then, um, you know, whoever your supervisor is begins to see what's really going on here and, um, you know, the truth just totally comes out and things become more peaceful for you. Um, if this has to do with like switching into a, a new job, um, I feel like, you know, there's something better. The abundance is shining on you right now with that sun card and the healing heart. So I feel like where you may have been hurt, like your heart might have been hurt because there was some cattiness going on in the workplace. Someone's going to come in and reach out to you with kindness and say, it's okay. This is going to get sorted out. The healing heart and the sun is being clarified by the nine of wands. Yes, yeah, so stick it out a little bit longer, okay? Truth, truth is coming out. Speak up where you need to. Um, you know, go to the right person. I would not confront the nasty people, but I will go to your boss um, or your supervisor. And I would come right out and say, can we please keep this between us? Um, as long as you feel you can trust that person. For someone listening, this might be a last ditch effort to stay at your job. Um, it's worth worth a try. And if it doesn't work out, that's how you'll know it's time to move on. But I definitely see and feel a lot of peace after the storm here for you. Whoops. All right, so this is the Money and Career Oracle deck. What else for Taurus? We have business. Do not be intimidated to enter the world of business. You got this. Consider executive positions, becoming a CEO, or anything in the corporate world. Elevate your awareness and think bigger if you want different results. Yes, so it might be time to um, think bigger, learn something new, ask for more money. Okay, transporter. So just take what resonates because there's a lot of different messages on these cards. This card is a good indicator that things will start moving for you rather quickly. A career in transportation such as travel, driving, or shipping could appeal to you. You could travel for work or perhaps you need to take action on a financial matter. Nice, and we have writer. Yes, yeah, some of you are writers. It says stories matter. It's time to share your story in some way. Your words have power to influence others. Find out how you can contribute. A career in social media might. A career in social media management, book writing, content writing, or blogging could be for you. Use words and visualize it as you write them to manifest more money into your life. Ooh, nice. All right, so let's go over here to the guardian. I keep saying the wrong name. This is the Angel Answers Oracle cards. Angel Answers. So if you have a question, you can reflect on it now, Taurus, but you don't have to. Oh, got to pop out here. Yeah, you are ready. Let me just fix that. 
good enough you're ready for this Taurus okay and we have recovery if you have been ill um, there's recovery coming in for you this could be physical or um, you know mentally body mind spirit whichever there's healing coming in if you need to see a medical professional please do this is not medical advice I would ask your angels yes open up to guidance from your angels and you will be led the way look for those signs thank you so much for being here Taurus please like share and subscribe and I will see you again soon